Uh, so in fact, yes, why would we do partial nephrectomy in T1B? Well, there are quite a few pro uh, arguments um, which I will hopefully be able to convince you of. First of all, the incidence of small renal masses is rising, and we know that uh, it's, it's mainly so for tumors in the two to four centimeter <clears throat> range. But not only this, also tumors uh, between four and seven centimeters are on the rise. And um, uh, as we've heard this morning already, for small renal masses, at least the masses smaller than four centimeters, um, the partial nephrectomy have been picked up, certainly in tertiary centers, um, but there is still a concern about the larger tumors, four to seven centimeters, and even though we see that partial nephrectomy is being picked up, there is still a concern um, why it is not being picked up uh, as it is in smaller renal masses. Now, if you look at their own data from the last decade in Leuven, we can see that the radical nephrectomies are being performed less and less often, and the partial nephrectomies have actually almost tripled in the last 10 years. And one of the reasons is that we are actually starting, we have started to believe that not only the very small renal masses, but also the four to seven centimeters uh, are amenable to partial nephrectomy. And I'll show you why, because in the small renal masses up to four centimeters, there's been a huge amount of retrospective studies and comparative studies and also one prospective study clearly showing that there is an equivalent oncological result whether we do a partial nephrectomy or a radical nephrectomy. So oncologically, it's a very safe procedure in the small renal masses. But much more importantly, we've heard some about, it, uh, about this this morning already, the renal function preservation is much better uh, when we do a partial nephrectomy versus a radical nephrectomy for small renal masses. And this may not be clear in studies with a short follow-up, we will not actually see any influence on overall survival. But if we start to follow up the patient for a longer period, then we'll see that if, we, uh, if the surgery is actually uh, introducing chronic renal disease in a patient, because we take away a kidney, we'll have a vicious cycle that's starting. And this vicious cycle can eventually lead to cardiovascular disease, which can actually lead to a higher mortality rate. And there have been a couple of very interesting studies published on this, uh, in this respect. And this study by Veit in European Neurology, quite recent study, has actually shown that in similar groups of patients where, the, where a tumor that was thought to be a malignant tumor was taken away by partial or radical nephrectomy, that actually the tumor ended up to be a benign tumor, so there was no competing risk um, um, in overall survival of cancer-related uh, death, if you look at partial nephrectomy versus radical nephrectomy, there was a significant difference in overall survival, and it started to show up after about five years of follow-up. The curves were actually um, uh, moving away from each other. And this was mainly due to the fact that in some patients, the glomerular, glomerular filtration rate was actually lowered, as I've just shown you by the study by Huang, and the, the GFR um, was actually, um, in the radical nephrectomy group, was actually uh, significantly lower than in the partial nephrectomy group. So basically, taking away a kidney, uh, you cannot do that without a punishment, and the punishment, which may be an overall survival deficit, uh, may only show after five to ten years of, um, uh, uh, after surgery. So there are several advantages of a partial versus radical nephrectomy, and certainly in the small renal masses. The oncological results are comparable. The quality of life is significantly better when we do a partial nephrectomy. This has been shown in a couple of studies. Creatinine failure and dialysis need is much lower when we do partial nephrectomy. And recent evidence suggests an overall survival advantage in favor of nephron sparing surgery, but it's still underutilized, even in the smaller tumors. Um, what about then nephron sparing surgery? In those renal masses, 
between four and seven centimeters. Well, first of all, we know how to do this. It's technically feasible. We heard some about it already this morning. And we know that because in, uh, in, in imperative cases, we have been doing that for quite a while. And it's technically feasible. Um, it's not much different from a smaller tumor. It takes longer and there's some more blood loss, but the, but the, the risk for complications is about the same. Uh, what about aggressivity of those cancers? If we take uh, a group of patients who had either partial or radical nephrectomy and we look at the aggressivity uh, of the tumor being uh, a pathological T3A tumor, microvascular invasion, formal grades 3 to 4, or M plus uh, in further follow up, then we can see that um, patients with tumors 4 to 7 centimeters have a slightly higher, aggress a slightly more aggressive tumors. But if you look at the curves here below, the, the real rise in uh, aggressive tumors or more aggressive tumors is only clear after the cutoff of seven centimeters, not four centimeters. And indeed, a study in J-Urology from Germany, uh, studying 464 patients, has actually confirmed that in multivariate analysis, the four centimeter cutoff, which is actually splitting the group of T1A versus T1B, could actually not be confirmed to be a real cutoff. But in this study, the cutoff of seven centimeters, which is actually splitting the, the, the T1s versus the TBs, was a cutoff which could be used in clinical practice. So we think that the four centimeter is a, is a cutoff point uh, defining more aggressive tumors, but this is not so clear. And therefore, some people have started to believe that partial nephrectomy for these larger tumors, four to seven centimeters, um, is, is a, reasonable, um, a reasonable option. And one of the first, if not the first paper, was published in 2002, a study by uh, Russo, who actually showed that in 97 patients with a short follow-up that the partial nephrectomy in 47 centimeter tumors could lead to effective cancer control and most of all also preservation of renal function. In the longer term uh, study by, uh, by Leibovitch, who is here, 91 patients clearly showed that at longer follow-up there were no significant differences in cancer-specific survival when we compare partial versus radical nephrectomy. And this has been corroborated by larger studies, by study by Pater and by Thompson, who actually showed exactly the same. There was no clear difference between a partial and a radical nephrectomy in terms of cancer-specific survival. So basically, those uh, smaller and larger retrospective analysis showed perfectly equal oncological control. So oncological control is not really a reason not to do a partial nephrectomy. And indeed, local recurrence rates are low and are comparable to smaller renal cancers. A distant recurrence, it's depending on the size of the tumor, but it varies largely between 0 and 29%. The five-year recurrence rate survival was between 80 and 98% if you look at the literature. Surgical margin rates are very acceptable with a rate of something about uh, around 5 to 6 percent and a range from 0 to 10 percent. Complications were also acceptable and actually comparable to smaller renal masses between 16 and 31 percent in the literature. And in fact, Patar has al also looked uh, specifically at the group of larger tumors um, and looking at morbidity and outcomes in this specific patient group. And he saw that tumors more than four centimeter had, were correlated with a significant increase of mean operative time, blood loss, need for transfusion, and urinary fistula rates. However, there was no increase of medical and surgical complication rates. Length of stay was equal. So he concluded that there was not only excellent cancer control, but the very acceptable morbidity and preservation of renal function. Looking at renal function, I just highlighted the elective indications. The pre- and the post-op creatinine and last follow-up were unchanged uh, in, in a series looking at um, elective partial nephrectomies in the four to seven centimeter range.
So what do we conclude and what do the guidelines say? First of all, guidelines, European guidelines, would consider every cancer smaller than 7 cm uh, an indication and partial fragments should be standard. And they also state that a laparoscopic radical nephrectomy should not be performed in patients with one T1 tumors. The American guidelines actually um, put uh, in a healthy patient a partial nephrectomy as a standard therapeutic option, certainly when uh, kidney uh, preservation is, when uh, kidney function preservation is needed. And in patients with more comorbidities, they also recommend to do a partial nephrectomy. So in conclusion, Nephron sparing surgery for tumors between seven, four and seven centimeters. They provide excellent surgical feasibility, good local cancer control, excellent cancer specific survival, and in preservation of renal function and in elective indications, and of course less so in imperative and relative indications. Thank you. Thank you very much.